After taking a backseat from political discourses for a while, the Sabina Chege and Kanini Kega Jubilee Party-led faction has come out to issue their stand on the National Dialogue Committee report released on Saturday. That report now is going to be subjected to a further legal process. That legal process now is going to lead to a bill. That bill now is going to capture every aspect. While acknowledging the gains made in the report, we recognize that further work remains. Pertinent matters pertaining to the economy, more so touching on the governance and state capture that entrenched deep-rooted corruption. The leaders are opposed to any ideas of a referendum for the constitution review anytime soon, saying the country is still reeling in tough economic times that have heightened the cost of living among Kenyans. Though we appreciate it's going to be a process and we are open to that kind of negotiations to see how it's going to be done. But for the current position as it is, referendum is not recommended now. Tuna shirikiana na selekali katika zile jitihada zote ambazo zina inaendeleza ili kuhakikisha kwamba galama ya maisha imeenda chini. Despite backing the NADCO report, the leaders who held a parliamentary group meeting today say the report has its shortfalls that need to be addressed in due course. That's why we said we are not part of bombers, but we are going to be part of it so that where we, f we feel that um, it is going to be unfair for Kenyans, then we'll also give our opinion. Meanwhile, while addressing the press in a different venue, the Jeremiah kioni led Jubilee faction has stood its ground on the report, saying it fell short of addressing the plight of Kenyans. Watu hawakuenda mirolongo ama demonstration maadamano kwa sababu ya ofisi fulani. Watu walienda kule kwa sababu ya gharama ya maisha. Kioni and team also dismissed those using the high cost of living as an excuse for further plans to engage on the report, saying the cost of living matter is not a yesterday issue. Wakati ambao unafaa, yale mageuzi yote ambao tugetaka yafanyo kwa katiba, lazi meapelekwe kwa Kenya. Ingefaa zaidi. Kama wenzetu walikubali kusikiza ushauri wa, wa Kenya wengine kuhusu jinsi wangeweza kuimarisha uchumi. Both camps further insisted that they are the bona fide members of the Jubilee Party. As Kenyans continue to react and respond to the National Dialogue Committee, the political anxiety remains high. Leaders from the Jubilee Party this afternoon have reiterated the need to respect the position of Jubilee Party in the Azimio coalition, also echoing the need to revamp the party. We are seated here, pursuant to Article 1 of the Constitution. Article 1 of the Constitution as read with Article 96, clearly exemplifies the role of the elected representative and even equates it to sovereignty. So these are the representative, the true representative of the people of Kenya, elected representative of Jubilee. Those other shenanigans that you see around are busy bodies who only represent their stomach. Secretary General Wetu Nikioni, party leader Uhuru Kenyatta, na ile neck ambao ilichaguliwa 2022 March wakati tulifanya NDC na hiyo ni uamuzi wa koti hawa ndio wale walio ofisini kikamilifu President William Ruto and Azimio leader Raila Odinga have already issued their stands on the NADCO report Reporting for K24 TV I'm Anki Dorisombat